OK, so this guide is going to show you how you can set up a iPhone or iPad without an Apple ID running iOS 17. All the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So, as I say, this guide is going to show you how you can set up an iPhone or an iPad without out an Apple ID. Now, before now, we used to have an option pre iOS 17, I believe, where we could actually say that we don't have an Apple ID and it allow us then to set it up later in settings. So therefore, we wouldn't need to set it up at all if we didn't want to download any other apps from the App Store. This is handy if you're obviously selling on your iPad and you want to partially get it set up for somebody or you've got like a, a relative that you think would just likely to use it for say Safari emails, FaceTime and the pre-installed apps not going to want to install their own apps and don't need cloud backup. Now the only options we've got on this screen are put in an email address for an Apple ID or tap other sign in options. And the only options here is use another device to sign in. When you tap that, it tells you to bring the device nearby and obviously just imports the sign in details from that device. Or the only other option is use multiple accounts. So again, it still asks for a Apple ID email address. So how do you set it up? How do you bypass this screen in setting up your iPad or iPhone in iOS 17. Well, it's pretty simple. All you do is just tap in where it says email or phone number and just type any old email address. So let's just type in no at thank you dot com and then tap continue. And here it's got forgot password now or don't have an Apple ID that has just appeared. So instead of putting in a password, just tap forgot password or don't have an Apple ID. And then there you go. You've got the option there now to tap set up later in settings. So we can tap that up there. It says, are you sure you don't want to use an Apple ID? You need an Apple ID to use Apple Pay, the App Store, iCloud and other services. Creating one is free and easy. So I'm going to tap don't use. And there we go. We just now agree to the Apple's terms and conditions. Obviously, have a look through if you want. So tap agree. And now we can continue with a setup. So let's just do that. Update your iPad automatically. I'm going to say continue. Going to enable location services. Going to set up Siri later in settings. Going to set up screen time later in settings. Not going to share any analytics. And I'm just going to choose the default light display. So click continue. Welcome to iPad. So let's just click get started. And there we go. It's set up without having to give an Apple ID. Now you've noticed down here, you've got a number one in the settings. So if I just tap settings, let's just try and get rid of that number one. And the option there that is showing, it's showing finish setting up your, and that should say finish setting up your iPhone or iPad. So I'm going to tap that and it's saying here, there you go, finish setting up your iPad to get the most out of your iPad with features like Apple ID, Siri, Touch ID and Apple Pay. Now, if you don't want to set those up, just tap finish setup, tap set up Touch ID later, tap don't use, create an iPad passcode. Now, if you don't want to create a passcode, then tap passcode options and tap don't use passcode and tap don't use passcode again. And here it is again asking us to sign in with an Apple ID. I'm just going to tap the cross in the top right hand corner and there we go. It's gone. If I go back to the main menu, as you can see, the number one has disappeared from settings. So there you go. I hope this guide helped. And if it did, please consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel or have a look in the description down below. If you're in the market for a VPN, a Fire Stick, Fire Stick accessories, or even just want to have a look through my Amazon store, we've got links down there for you. 
buying, subscribing and donating really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time into researching and bringing you these videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you and maybe even save you some time and money. If you do see anything that might benefit your friends, your family or your work colleagues, please don't forget to share them on your social media timelines.